What's the best mind mapping software? That's the million dollar question. That's what I'm going to be answering in this video. I'm going to give you what I think is today's best mind mapping software tool. I'm also going to share with you how you can use this software legitimately for free. I'm also going to show you a few tips and tricks on how I use this software so that you can get up to speed very quickly. I'm going to share some pros and cons with you because there are a couple of things that I don't really like about this software. And as a bonus, I'm going to share with you my second best mind mapping software tool. And you're going to need this if you want to make a specific type of mind map because the first software tool doesn't really cut it for this type of mind map. You'll find links and timestamps to everything I mention in the description below this video so that you can quickly click and go to a section if you need a recap after you watch this video. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so my recommended best mind mapping software is Xmind. I've talked about Xmind before. I've been using it for a long time and I love it. Now you'll find the software over at xmind.net. There is Xmind 2020, which is the latest version of the flagship product, which is Xmind 8. And there is Xmind 8, which is, as I just mentioned, the flagship product. Now this software works on both PC and Mac, and it's a mature piece of software. It's been around a long time and it's solid. Now Xmind 8 for me has everything I need in a mind mapping tool. And if you're wondering why Xmind 8 and not Xmind 2020, which is the latest version, then I talk about that in this video. This video. I'll put a link to that in the description too. Pricing wise, you can see that Xmind 8 is $129. If you look at the pricing page, you see that you get lifelong use when you buy a license and you can use that license on two different computers. Now, I do have a full tutorial on how you can use Xmind 8 or my best tips and tricks to get you up to speed very quickly. You can find that tutorial here and I'll put a link to that tutorial in the description. Now, let's talk about how you can use this software for free legitimately. Here's the thing. Xmind comes with an unlimited trial. That means that as long as you don't register the software, you're using the trial version. Obviously, that comes with some limitations, such as you can't export mind maps to PDF, but hey, you're using the software for free. But I do have a work around that and you'll find that in my Xmind tutorial. Now, just to be doubly sure and doubly safe, I did email Xmind support and they replied to me that yes, you can use the software for free as long as you don't register it. Now, with that in mind, when you do use the software, you may get a nagging reminder to upgrade. So if you are planning to use the trial version, then just ignore the reminder. Okay, so let's get to the tips and tricks. Now, make sure you download the right version, which is Xmind 8. Once you have that installed on your machine, run the software and this is what you get. Now, the first time you open the software, you'll get a wizard, if I remember correctly. So spend a little time exploring the wizard. And when you're ready to start your first mind map, you'll end up at a screen like this. So let's click on new blank map. You'll see this bubble in the middle, which is known as a node called the central topic. So let's call this website let's pretend that we're going to build a website so all i did there was i double clicked the title in the node that highlighted the text i just typed in website and hit enter that sealed the text into the bubble now the next thing i'm going to do is a shortcut i'm going to click the tab key on my keyboard and that's going to open up a child node now, if you look, you'll see this double border around this node, and that means that the node is selected. So without using my mouse, I can start typing and that will change the title of that node. So I'm going to write hosting. Then I'm going to hit enter and that once again is going to seal the title into the node. Now, the focus is still on this node. This time I'm going to hit enter and that's going to open another child node of the main root node. So I'm going to write platform hit enter once again i'm going to hit enter again and this time i'm going to type lead capture i hit enter and that seals the text now i'm going to use my keyboard to navigate to the top node and this time instead of hitting enter i'm going to hit the tab key on my keyboard and that's going to open up a child node of the node that was in focus so here i'm going to add a list of the things that i want from my hosting so i'm going to enter managed hosting I hit enter, that seals the text. Now, if I hit my tab key again, that's going to expand that node. I don't want to do that, so I'm gonna hit the backspace and I'm gonna hit enter. That's gonna create a new child node of the hosting node. So here, I'm gonna put 24 seven support. Now I'm gonna use my mouse keys to navigate to the platform node, and then I'm gonna hit the tab key. And here, I will type WP for WordPress and enter. 
Once again, I use my mouse keys to go down to the lead capture node. Then I hit the tab key. And here I'm going to add autoresponder and hit enter to seal the deal. So this is how you can very quickly brainstorm any idea, any thought without using your mouse, just using shortcuts. Now, other things that you can do include right click in the main node, navigating down to structure, and you'll see in this pop-up menu that you have a lot of different structures. One of the structures that I like is this organizational chart. And this is really handy when I'm brainstorming the steps of a process. So in this case, the hosting platform and lead capture nodes would be step one, step two, step three. And then under each step, I would list all the tasks that I need to complete. And when using this structure, something that comes in really handy is right clicking on a node, navigating up to insert and selecting relationship. This gives you an arrow like this, which you can use to connect to another node. Let me change the shape of that arrow so it's not traversing any boxes. And I use this to create a very quick visual that lets me know that this step affects that step. As you can see, XMind is a great tool for brainstorming. And the good news is you don't need to spend weeks on a steep learning curve. You only need to know a good few tricks to get the most out of this software. So make sure you jump into my XMind 8 training series because that will teach you all the tricks that you need to know, saving you a lot of time. Now let's talk about pros and cons. So the main two reasons that I think XMind is the best mind mapping software, at least for me or for anybody that uses it like me, mostly for brainstorming, is one, it's a desktop application. So I don't have to log into anything. I can just open up the program and start working. If I'm traveling on a train and I don't have Wi-Fi, that's not a problem. And the second reason is that very generously XMind have this unlimited trial, which enables me to use the software for free. And the unlimited trial actually covers all my needs. Needs. Now, the downsides of using the unlimited trial is that you can't print to PDF. But as I mentioned before, there's a workaround that in the XMind 8 training series. And the other downside of this software is that it doesn't look sexy, which means that if you're creating a mind map for a client or in order to try and sell something, a service, for example, you're not going to have that eye candy that may just give you the edge. Now, for me, that's not a problem because as I say, I use this software on my desktop really for brainstorming and for mapping things out. I save the mind map in XMind's native format. I don't need to open it as a PDF. I can just open the mind map or I can always export it as an image if I really wanted to. And that brings me to the bonus that I promised you. My second best mind mapping software tool, which is the mind map tool I go to if I do need to create a mind map for clients or to present something to somebody else. And that enables me to create eye-catching mind maps and export them to PDF. That second mind mapping tool is called Coggle and I have a full tutorial showing you how to use it Again, hopefully saving you a lot of time and a steep learning curve. How cool is that? Let me know what you're using in the comments and also let me know what you think of these two tools. Now there's a ton of mind mapping tools coming up and some of them look very good. So perhaps this year we will have a new best mind mapping software tool. So sub and I'll see you in the next video.